Okay, so excuse the mess, uh, but this video is being made by a special request. Uh, earlier, well, uh, a while ago, this channel was also geared toward Google Stadia. Google Stadia ended early this year, and so I kind of shifted directions a little bit. However, before then, I made sure about using a Stadia controller with my Xbox, since that is the gaming platform that I migrated to uh, as Stadia was uh, being shut down. Uh, and I haven't done that since, uh, but someone made a request in, uh, on my short video of how did I get a Stadia controller working. So this is what I use, and I have, I believe, every color. I know I have my black one and the white ones over there. I know I got the, the Founders Edition. Uh, so, but I like green because, you know, Xbox one, so. Uh, yeah, so I didn't tell you, who, if you're watching this, uh, that I would make the video until I figured out how to do it and do it well. Because last time I did it, it worked, but the lag was kind of incredible and me, me, it was it was terrible. It was interesting, but if you were doing any kind of competitive gaming, um, I, I I sold it on my team. Just so you know, uh, but I got some work tonight, so I'm gonna try to get this up and running. Um, so what your what essentially it is, and when I tell you the method, um, you might say, uh, never mind, but. If you really want to do this, um, how to use this controller to <laughs> work with that Xbox, you're going to have to do it in an indirect way. I tried before and I can get a this to connect directly to my Xbox, uh, which I did, which they did would allow that, but I understand why not. Uh, before I show you this method, uh, it is important that you have already turn this uh, stated controller and then turn it to Bluetooth. Uh, by default, Stadia ran on a like a um, Wi-Fi connect, which worked really well. The latency was pretty on point. Uh, but since Stadia is down, and I don't believe any other company uses that s sort of connection, that technology, so they made it a way for us to use these controllers via Bluetooth. So none of this works unless you have done that. If you haven't done that, I will hopefully I can find the website to you know to go through the steps to uh, change this controller into Bluetooth. It is you can't go back. They tell you that, but then again, there's nothing else you can do with the controller. So why? just have e-waste okay so you would need something that runs the Xbox app because what we're going to be doing is remote play yeah I want to say you want to click on the video right now but if you're hang with me fashion not back so I could use my phone the first time like in a video I'm basing my phone you don't see it Maybe I don't think you. I don't know if I show it in the video, but my phone is off to the side, so this was connected to. In fact, yeah. So this was just connected to the app on here, and it's just uses basically like a gaming server into my Xbox, which we're going to do the same thing here now. In order for me to get the best connection, uh, I decided to use my Chromebook. Hey, man, that's what the, that's what the channel is primarily more about now. Uh, so it's irrelevant. Uh, I'm using Chromebook. I'm Pixel Go. Is irrelevant. Is the RAM and all that is really not important in this case. Why I'm choosing to use uh, one of my Chromebooks is because I can connect this via Ethernet port which is going to really help uh, on the latency. So, let's get into it. Uh, 
log in. Uh, there's some Linux stuff. And okay, so before I go to the app, got to make sure that you are connected here. And I've already done this, so there it is here. So hopefully it's going to connect uh, immediately. And it connected. I have 88% left. So the controller is now Bluetooth connected to my laptop. Now that that is done, and then, I don't know, you, you see I am connected wire Ethernet. Again, wireless will work, but I want the best connection possible. So let us search the Xbox app. Again, you will have to download this and set up your Xbox account, you know, the console. So this is assumed going to be kind of like game streaming. So over here at the uh, top right, we're going to say remote play on this device. And it said uh, remote play works best on a wired or 5 gigahertz wireless connection which is why I opted for the wired connection we're going to hit continue and as you see instantly that starts off the Xbox turns on uh, on the session here now give it a few more moments in order for it to connect Okay, so we're at the menu, and let me see what I can, can I brighten this up? I don't know. Okay, so we can do a quick save. This is where I was at. Let's say exit ship. And I'm showing you. You can see both on the, the laptop and here that is pretty in sync. I don't know who this guy is, so what we got? You, buddy. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by to trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Right. Let's see. You can my phone or so. Sure. How about it? This is cool, 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 cool. All right. So <laughs> I won't get too much into this. But you can see that the game is really responsive, but man, maybe you need to see a little firefight.
And that was how you could use your Stadia controller or any Bluetooth controller really for your Xbox instead of the native controller that it goes with. Um, now I'm gonna keep it honest with you. While in game, the lag is not noticeable at all to me. But then again, keep in mind I am using uh, Ethernet, so direct internet connection. Um, so in game, it felt native as if I was playing with the regular Xbox controller. That's good. However, I can't just close the video without saying, while it wasn't shown, because I don't think I caught it on camera. Um, my s session uh, disconnected twice. Different session, so it disconnected once and then powered down to make the video and disconnected again. Not often, I believe the first time I got like around an hour of play time from different games and then it crashed. The app crashed, I checked. My internet was stay stable. Uh, the controller uh, maintain connection to the laptop so it has to be on their end of why that failed uh, I hope they address this um, I gave them feedback um, but yeah I came I'm not gonna act like uh, this was the perfect solution but it could be cool and you can use it in a pinch or you know cuz there were benefits to using this over the regular uh, Xbox controller um, you know it's lighter and this has a discharge via USB-C USB -C, and I prefer that over the batteries that Xbox uses uh, but beyond that game experience was pretty good except for a drop connection when it did drop connection uh, you just go back into the app and reconnect again uh, I was able to get back into game um, what I have to restart anything uh, so an annoyance but something that you should know going in all right uh, I believe that's all I have for you today uh, thank you uh, again this is uh, this used to be the kind of videos that I was aiming for to make uh, but I'm happy to do this for you guys uh, tell me what you guys think like subscribe uh, if you enjoy this content Leave a comment uh, if you have any questions. Uh, but other than that, peace.